let's go. Let's do uh, chasing around the altar here. Oh my god, he, he did a switcheroo. Hey there, Brewberries. What's up and welcome to another episode of Valheim. Today, we're back and we're in a location that you may not recognize. Oh, firstly, see if I can hit this deer. It's a little ways away. Oh, so close, man. Oh, it's coming closer. Oh, I swear I would have gotten that. Anyways, welcome on back. We are in a different location. Uh, so this is the area where you may not recognize it because there's not nearly as many trees. Um, but this is the location that we discovered last episode right right in the middle of it and i decided this is the location i wanted to build in so i moved everything over from our sort of cliff house over there oh, cannot do like what i do in minecraft and uh <laughs> it's tap because i will attack things and so i've moved the house and done a little bit of building in between just to get ourselves back and up and running it's a little bit bigger but definitely not complete we will be addressing that today and i am really excited so i have some things to show you so firstly i guess let's take a look see at the house we've got a nice little patio area here uh, i'm not sure i really like this i think i'm going to be changing it but it is okay for now we've got half a house uh just haven't fully completed it because i need to bring the ground up uh, a bit and flatten it out but you can see very nice is pretty decent uh, is a pretty decent starting house uh, the roof is off a little bit though so i think i'm thinking we're going to be just fully remaking this now that i have this hoe i can fully level things which is really really nice and down here if we follow this pathway that i've made we've got this little building here this was an old building similar to the one that is well you can't see it but literally where the sun is there's another old building up on the top of that hill and uh, i've repaired it changed up the design a bit and eventually we can expand it a little bit more but for right now this is just a very nice storage area and i've got some good stuff going we've got a good amount of resin i have as you saw some honey from this beehive which i decided to go ahead and make because we could uh, because we had a bee's nest that was on the back of this building right here um, and it also got fully destroyed because a couple of trees that i chopped down here knocked down this gargantuan tree and i can't do anything about that log right now because i don't have a good pickaxe but we're going to be fixing that today but all of this stuff is good I've been attacked multiple times by boars and deer and what have you. Uh, and so got a good amount of leather and deer hide, which is really, really nice. Let's go ahead and put this away there. Ooh, need to make some more arrows. That's okay. Been getting some good feathers as well. Not that bad. Plants and stuff. Just a bunch of seeds, uh, which I don't know exactly what to do. Flint, I have found. And we're going to go on a bit of a flint spree today because I would like to make tools and stuff. And it looks like I can eat me some chicken wings or whatever that is. What is this? Cooked meat. Okay, whatever. Chicken wings it is. And then coal, I accidentally cooked some food a little bit too long, and that's how I discovered you can make signs. And then, of course, down here, I have been chopping like a madman. You know, this looks like a lot of wood. It really is not hardly any wood. You will fly through wood in this. And so I've been trying to stay on top of things and get a lot of wood gathered. Now, as I said, I wanted to go and grab some flint. And I think what you do is you can find flint like this uh and so one don't want to run out of stamina because i think you start getting hurt um, but i've been finding flint along the shoreline uh, and so i i think we should go around and kind of gather up some more oh there's a boar oh i missed it it's gonna come and attack me now come at me oh yeah that's right Boom, double boars and some stone. Very good. And there is also a structure. Oh, hello, bud. How's it going? Come here. 
Take it. Give me your, your, whatever your stuff is. Give me that goo. What is this called again? Resin. Yes. Give me the resin. There's also a building that's like over here, I believe. Somewhere through this thicket is a building that I've seen. Maybe it's a little further up. One thing at a time, Pixel Brew. One thing at a time. Let's go ahead and gather some of this flint. And as I said, it's uh, I've just been finding it kind of just along the shoreline and in the water. And so I don't know if that is where you're supposed to find it. Whoa, you are a speedy dude. Yeah, take that. And you can stun people if you hit the block at the appropriate time. So that guy, okay, that was just a great, I, I don't even know what, but you can see we're getting flint. Oh, this is good. I, oh, and we're in the black forest. Good, we need the black forest, actually. What do you got to say here, Hugh? Turn back, this is a dangerous place. You have wandered into black forest. This place can be very dangerous for those unprepared for it. Prove your worth by slaying Ichthyr. Okay, so you want me to take on Ichthyr before I actually go in here. Tin deposit, ooh, nice. Whoa, comma, what are you doing? Yeah, get, get, get out of here, you jerk. Yeah, no match for me. I don't know what Hugh is saying. These people are not difficult whatsoever. Now, I know there are more difficult things out there, but I just kind of want to keep on wandering and getting some flint action. And is that flint there? That's just a shiny rock. All right, well, that's not exciting. Well, we may have enough to be able to start making better tools. So let's go back and see if we can make a flint ax. Oh, is this a fish? We just got a fish because it was swimming up here. That's uh, really good. All right, cool. Let's get this flint here. Hey, you jerk. What do you think you're doing? Yeah, jerk attacking my my place of residence. Let's see. Let's uh, what was he attacking? The workbench? Yeah, what a jerk, attacking my workbench. All right, I think I'm going to make this chest something that we'll we'll call like I don't know, just like enemy drops or something. I think that will do fine, just because I don't know what to do with the what to do with like the eyeballs. Uh, and let's go ahead and just take 50 of these and, uh, oh, we could eat. All right, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and craft some stuff up. Let's do it on the crafting station that's inside because Lord knows them gray people are going to be attacking me and I don't like it. Oh. All right, what can we do? Flint axe. Okay, let's see here. Wood flint, six flint, we have 17, good to go. What does this allow us to do? Anything fun? Any other flint things? Let's see, sharpened flint, a reliable tool. Let's see, slash six, pierce six. What does the ax do? Slash 20, mm, what's this spear? If your eye marks a thing for death, let, arms, let your arm send the messenger. Oh, interesting. Pierce 20. I kind of want to make this, but I also don't want to use up all the flint right away. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to put our old axe in here. And is this, yes, this is the flint one. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now we have a flint axe. I don't know exactly what that means. I think there are some flint based crafting things. Yeah, 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 chopping block. You need, it's a workbench improvement. And same with this, is a workbench improvement? Yeah, 15 flint, 10 flint. Let's go ahead and make this. Now, maybe, I think you can kind of put these around this and it doesn't have to be like directly next to it. So maybe we do that. Uh, oh, actually, let's break that down, get that all back and then I 
I just want to spin it is all. That's all. I just wanted to do this. There we go. All right, cool. Let's see. All right, close the door. Okay, so we got leather tunic and leather pants. Ooh. Let's see. Leather pants, deer hide, and deer hide. Oh, man, we could do that. Oh, and fire arrows. Dude, flint arrowheads. We got actually so much helmet. Oh, man, I'm so glad we have so much leather. Let's go ahead and get this leather gear on. All right, let's get going. Let's see. Leather pants, leather, leather tunic. What is the difference between armor two and then the leather tunic is one okay so it's just a, it's just better it's not anything too crazy leather pants let's go ahead and do that leather helm sweet we have enough for that oh man we are getting kitted out right now all right let's go ahead and put this on here was a helm there it is Nice, look at us. We have some decent gear. Okay, cool. So I need to go make a junk chest for this stuff here, I suppose. And what else can we do? You know, I think some fire arrows would be nice to have. So let's go ahead and make up 40 of those. I think that's good. And then anything else, what else can we do? Doesn't look like much. Anything else that we can craft that's in here? What does this require? Five deer hide. We have the leather, which would be good. So maybe let's do this and get a tier three going. Well, let's see, is this strong enough now? No, still too hard. I'm guessing that's such a massive tree. I would imagine that we need something more like a tin ax, if that's a th thing. I think it's a thing. With this axe, there's a particular tree that I can't chop down up here that I'm really, really curious if I can chop it down now because this should be, it's called a sharper axe. So I'm thinking, whoa, that was kind of weird. There are occasional stutters that I find with this game. Nothing like too crazy, nothing detrimental, but sometimes it just stutters ever so slightly. So sorry if you see that. Let's see, birch, still too hard. Well then, I guess maybe what we should do, let's go check out the ichthyr. I swear I heard a bad guy. Guess not, let's kill this deer. All right, it is a new day. Let us go ahead and let's go, let's go kill ichthyr. I think that's a good plan. So ichthyr is all the way over here and I think what I'm gonna need is, I think I have everything. Uh, I need wood, I guess. So the, the way is blocked by a river. Um, and so we need to build a raft. And in order to do that, we need leather, resin, and wood. So let's go ahead, take that. I think it actually is exactly 20. Let's go ahead and check this. 20, yes indeedy. And uh, I guess we need just a little bit more. We can get some while we're there. Uh, we can chop down some trees and all that. Um, but I am really excited. Oh, hello, pig. Come here. Death. All right, let's go ahead. Get on over to Ichthyr. So I think this is a good spot to set up kind of like a waypoint almost. Let's see, can I level this ground a bit? Just a little, like so, and then yes, right like that. That should be good. Now let's put a workstation. Well, I guess let's put it inside. And that way we can kind of just do stuff. And then let's go ahead and repair all of this stuff that is pre-existing because you can just repair it and then it's free stuff to use. And that's, that's pretty cool. And there we go. We have a nice already made and we can, let's put a bed in here as well. Let's go ahead and do that. 
and then might as well put a door on this bad boy just like so and boom there we go we have a nice area and we can set our spawn point there because we are going to be dealing with some stuff and you know what let's go ahead and make a chest so we don't have to take all this garbage with us boom just like that nice little house let's put away the important stuff we're gonna need them arrows and uh that should do it we don't need that we are gonna need more wood. That's okay though, I figured we would. Ha, <laughs> get it, ha. <laughs> All right, we should have enough now to make us just a little itty bitty boat. Boom, just like that. Let's get on this bad boy. Let's use the rudder and how do we go? Do we just do that and then, oh, interesting, okay. And I guess we can't use the sail, but that's okay. And then we're just gonna ground it here to a halt. Right, like so. Boom. And are you gonna stay there? Good, okay. All right, so where is Ichthyr? Should be right up here on this hilltop, it looks like. That's pretty cool. All right, very misty morning, very misty. Yeah, it looks like Ichthyr is right on up here. I could eat another bite. Oh, indeed I could, man. All right, Ichthyr, where are you at? Looks like right here. Interesting. Hey there. Hugh, how's it going? Calling forth the beast, you have found the summoning place for one of the most one of the Forsaken. Make the correct offering at their altar and they will come. Be wary though, Forsaken are not easy prey. So craft a wicked weapon. Don't don your finest armor and eat a hearty meal before engaging them in combat. Well, thanks, Hugh. Let's see, what does this need? Hunt his kin. Ah, so we I think we need deer trophies or whatever they're called. And I'm assuming these rocks are where you put them, I would imagine. So we need three deer trophies and we have five. So that is good. Now I think I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to do it because I think the sun is setting and I would like to get the rested buff. So we, good thing we made our little house here. And let's go ahead and shift this guy back on over here. This is so silly, the fact that we had to make this little ship just for us to be able to go across the river. I probably could have swam, but I didn't want to risk it. All right, I think we're set and ready to go. We've got our trophy here. I'm gonna go ahead and equip, equip fire arrows. Uh, because I think I'm going to be shooting this. Oh, good lord, here we go. Here we go. Where is this Ichthyr showing up? Right there. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get... There it is. Holy... Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. This is insanity. Nope, don't you touch me. We're going in a circle here. Oh my goodness. This is the most insane deer ever. Ouchie mama. Okay, good news is it doesn't hurt a ton. Oh goodness. Get out of here. Get away from me, you jerk. Oh, good lord. Sweet mama, let's get over here. Oh, it's a running at me. He's a speedy one, he is. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get another shot in. Oh, golly. Man, there is like no easy way to dodge that. But the good news is he's not doing that much damage. Uh, let's go, let's do uh, Chasing around the altar here. Oh my God, he's, he did a switcheroo. Yeah, 
He doesn't hurt that much. Maybe because we have armor. Whoa, buddy. Almost got slapped. How do you dodge again? Okay, it's weird. I would think that it's like shift, but it's not. Oh, God. This is interesting. Electric deer. Oh, man, that actually made it through. That's insane. We are doing tons of damage to it, though. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, you think you can hit me? You can't hit me. Oh, apparently I can't hit you, though. Jeez. See, this is what this is what Minecraft means. Oh my golly. He just took out. Ooh. Yeah, he does not hurt. He doesn't hurt at all, which is strange. I wonder if I can melee him. You, I can actually block him. Oh. Well, that would have been a lot easier. You got your butt on there. Yeah, sacrifice them booty. All right, give me, give me stuff. What is it that we get? Hard antler, antler pickaxe, hard antler. Nice. Oh, hey, Hugh, how's it going? Oh, and Mavris is, is very interested in this. Congratulations, warrior. Return to the sacrificial stones with your forsaken trophy and offer it as a sacrifice to make the gods smile upon you. All right, Hugh. I will do that. So it seems like I can call him whenever I want. I think that seems right. But Ichthyr Trophy. This severed head oozes power. Offer it to the sacrificial stones. And then we also got hard antler. A piece of very hard antler. And what else? Wasn't there a tool that we got? Or maybe it was a craft. I bet it was a crafting recipe. And it looked like it was the pickaxe, which is, I'm assuming, being made out of the hard antler. So that is really nice. We can finally, there's so many rocks that I just want to destroy. Also, I love just having the fact that we have just this little tiny waypoint over here. I think, are you attacking me? Don't, you get, get, get. Yeah, yeah, let me go out to sea. Thanks, bud. Thanks, that was really nice. And he's pushing us. He's pushing us on, on across. You are such a great little helper. Yes, you are. Yep, just right there. Right there. What a solid dude. To, just so nice. Man, so good. And I think I imagine that's going to stay. Oh, nope, it's not saying because I jumped on it. All right, let's get, get your booty back on, Nova. And this is the one thing that I wish that they would do is make it let's see do we have room for all the stuff we have in here i bet we can pick up essentials what's essential here feathers gold you 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 everything everything's essential awesome so we have this great waypoint very pretty area as well really like this area i like being down by the water it's really nice um let's go i guess uh back here this is where we need to go to get I believe you get a boon or a power or something, which from what I've seen from other people's videos is like the strong, one of the stronger powers. I'm surprised that it's gonna be up front, but let's go ahead and go and sacrifice Ichthyr's brains to uh, the uh, sacrificial stones. All right, which one is Ichthyr? Looks like the Mr. Deer guy here. Boom, your ability to, geez, that was terrifying. Your ability to run and jump. Well, that was horrifying. Hugh, what was that sound? You've been granted the power of Ichthyr. Use it in times of need. Your next target dwells in the Black Forest. Go there, explore the lands, and uncover their lost treasures and resources. The Elder awaits. Awesome. So Black Forest it is. So, Ichthyr, what is this? Your ability to run and jump is improved. Jump stamina usage, minus 60%. Run stamina usage, minus 60%. Let us activate this power. All 
right, that is excessively loud. It reminds me of the Ender Dragon. Okay, now how how do we go about using it? What is this? Nope, those are just skills. Um. Oh, yeah, there we go. Using Ichthyr, and our stamina depletes excessively slower. Oh, that's so, so nice. Let's unequip the shield, because now we are running at top speeds, fully ignoring enemies, because we are the Flash Incarnate. Ah, home sweet home. Well, let's go ahead and check out the crafting recipes that we got a hold of, because I am very interested to see what all we've unlocked. And it looks like I could eat some, nami nami. And bees, are you ready? Yeah, oh, you have three honey. Man, I didn't know you guys just stack up honey. Nice. All right, let's see here. Workbench, what did we get? First, gotta repair everything. Now let's see here, what all did we get? Anything, antler pickaxe. This tool is hard enough to crack even the most stubborn stones. Whoa, we definitely want this. And uh, maybe we make two of them? I have two axes because, you know, might as well. I think I could summon him again if I want to get more stuffs. And well, okay, I guess. I guess that's good. And you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I am going to take this away from here and bring it down here because this is where all our resources are. All right, what do you want, Hugh? You have crafted a pickaxe. Black Forest is rich in minerals. There you can find copper on the ground and tin lining the ocean shore. Now go forth and strike the earth. Well, I will do that. I was, I'm was. i not gonna do that today, but I will do that. But as I said, I was, I'm was i going to put this guy uh, let's put this right there because I think, yeah, that's going to feed into this. And I think that is actually really nice. What else did we need for this? 20 leather deer hide flint. All right. Well, I'll do that sometime. So in order to upgrade our clothes, we need bone fragments, which we have not ran into. But I think that is over in the black forest area which we now have good access to because we have our pickaxes, which I'm going to put that here. And I think, man, our inventory is just filled to the brim. Let's go ahead and put some stuff up. And you know what? I decided, you know what? We're so close to getting a tier three. Might as well, let's go ahead, plop that down. And now we have a tier three workbench. And does that allow us to build anything else doesn't look like it but we also probably need to discover more so i think this is a great spot to leave it off i'm gonna go ahead hit the hay i built another one of them things as well but i think i'm gonna hit the hay get some meat to cooking and all that and then yeah i think that's gonna do it for this episode guys so if you enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like in real life and all that jazz. And if you're enjoying Valheim, let me know down below in the comments. Things that you would like to see, things you'd like me to try and build in this game. It is, of course, very open. So I am totally down to try and build whatever. Of course, I think I want to lean towards the Viking side of things just because, I mean, why not? But... Yes, so I think that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Cooking up some food, and I will see you all in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.